every day I'm visiting with people and they have questions about how to use Facebook to grow their business, to grow their freelancing business, and what I'm seeing is that there's just a very small bit of information they don't have that would make giant results on the back end. So my goal here in this video is to share that information with you so you may deploy that in your everyday life. I can't talk to everyone in person. This is a great way to get that message out there. One of the biggest myths in business is if you build it, they will come. They won't just come. You have to have some sort of a bait, an enticement, something worth their while. That quote is commonly talked about from Wayne's World. And what do they have? A rock concert. What does your Facebook have? Possibly spammy content. Possibly not regular enough content. So the number one bait that most people can use and deploy every day on their Facebook is regular content. One of the biggest problems that I see is that lots of businesses will post once here, once two months ago, once a couple weeks ago, once the other day. They're all over the place. One of the best things you as a business can do is to set a business schedule for your Facebook and stick to it. A really great goal for most businesses is every two to three days forever. Now most Facebook posts seem to take a lot of time for business owners. Here's a second area we're going to fix. How most business owners are handling Facebook is they get on during a chunk of their day, maybe during their lunch break or first thing in the morning. They think about what it is that they have to say. They try and write some copy possibly or take a photo and share it. Um, this is especially distressing because hours later it seems it hasn't gotten much engagement, much pickup, which incentivizes them to also not post the next day or the next day and they put it off, it goes to the back of their list. One of the very easiest ways to leverage Facebook is to batch your work. I'm talking about doing your work in advance and scheduling all of your posts out for an entire month at a time. So first, I build a long spreadsheet, Google Sheets, um, Excel, and as I'm building that, I'm putting in links and headline ideas for the articles. Maybe a quick short description as well. Uh, this is about Facebook organic traffic growth, right? And I'll have a link to that on my Facebook. All right, so the very first step is to set up a database. So I can use Google to do that. We'll look up Google Sheets. And Google Sheets, if you have a Google account, is a free service you can use as an online database, kind of like Excel. Go to Google Sheets and then click on the plus blank at the top to create your new spreadsheet. Call this Facebook Organic Traffic Database. I like to have a description box and also a link box. All right, so it's very, very basic. All I'm going to do is I found an article I'd like to include in my database here, so I'll copy that link out paste it under my link section. I'll put a quick description here. Facebook pixel is changing and what to know. So I read the article, I found this link that tells me a little bit about what I need to know about that topic, and then I've created a quick description. My goal now is just to fill this up in its entirety here so all of these columns are filled. I'd like to have about 10 or 15 different pieces of content that I can cycle through and program at a later date. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up this inventory of other articles that I can source. On top of that, I'm also going to build up an inventory of photographs of my actual business. So whatever your business entails are going to capture photographs of you working in action. Once you have 20 or 30, you can probably generate about six months content without a giant worry based on the new photos you'll naturally get and spacing those out and even repeating them. So that all I have to do to pay, make my Facebook post is hop on, type in my copy, attach the article and hit send. This makes it much, much quicker. Secondly, built into Facebook is the option to schedule your posts. If you use the Pages app, um, you can hit publish at the top, it says now or later. You hit schedule and you'll set a different day, a different time to schedule your posts out. On the regular uh, desktop client, it's a little bit easier. Um, so I like to usually batch mine there, but in a hurry I can use Facebook Pages on my phone. 
what you're going to do is you're going to set posts to go off at ideal times. And how do you know your ideal times? Well, you can actually look in your Facebook Insights and see some information about when your previous posts have been ideal, but you also can think generally about the content. You know, are people just getting off of work that your clientele are going to be in a different mood at different times of the week, be more in the mood for certain types of content versus others, you know, on their lunch break, right after work. There's different times where that content is going to mean more. You're going to miss this a lot. You're just going to try, you're going to post things, you're going to see how they do. You'll get multiple chances on lots of these items. Okay. I typically space them out and use a repetitive pattern. What I usually would like to do is have three to four pieces of content that give value to my customer before I'm asking. The classic Gary Vaynerchuk jab, 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 right hook is a perfect way to kind of keep this in mind. When I post something, everyone does not see it. So if I'm a business and I have 150 followers, whenever I post something on my Facebook, only the followers that are actually on Facebook around the time of that creation that don't have too much excessive other things that were also posted at that time that might bump mine further down the list have a chance at seeing my post. And out of those, only a percentage is actually shown the post. The more someone's interacted with my page in the past, the higher a chance of them seeing that post. That's telling Facebook they like what I'm doing, so that increases the chances. Things like external links will decrease those chances. Facebook's goal is to keep you on Facebook. So if you are sending people off of their platform to your website, to your platform to earn money, they de-incentivize that. The photos and videos actually increase the percentage of people that will see your posts over text alone. Videos prioritized over posts and live video is right now at the top and the peak of what gets visibility.